Okay, Cancers, the overall energy of this reading is the High Priestess. Your intuitions are running really high right now. Pay attention to them. Listen to them. Um, this card tells me you have the answers to your questions already. If you just pay attention to what yourself is telling you, you will have your answers. And up here in your highest energy, the Ten of Swords. You've been going through something here. Uh, some kind of pain. Some kind of loss. Um, it's right next to the Seven of Wands. So the Seven of Wands is actually blocking. I think you're trying not to deal with this loss. I think you're trying to, you're trying to act and feel uh, differently. Like um, you're trying not to realize your full feelings. And um, I think you're trying to like stave them away and continue on and really trying not to deal with it. But the, this Seven of Wands is right above the High Priestess. So um, I think you know that. And I think I, I think you know that you are trying, just trying to block your feelings here, which um, are painful. There's some something that happened here, some sort of loss you, of somebody, um, you know, that you were either in a relationship with or somebody else. But you're trying not to, to really deal with that. There's, there's an Eight of wands right next to the seven of wands in your highest energy up here this is communication texting skype zoom uh phone calls whatever through the air uh, this is back and forth communication now what you're blocking this communication here it might have to do and i'm sure it does with this ten of swords so if it's a person that broke your heart or something here I think they're trying to communicate with you. Maybe they're trying to make things right, and you're, you just don't want to deal with it. But your intuition here is telling you that you are blocking something here that you should be dealing with. And that's how I feel I, I see this reading. The Queen of Pentacles is right under the Ten of Swords. So this is Earth, Energy, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Might be strong in your chart or around this reading. This is the second biggest pentacle in the deck. Male or female, this is your energy. You're looking at a pentacle, at security, stability, groundedness. You know, I feel like <clears throat> you're trying not to lose your balance in this situation. There's, a, there's something that hurt you, and, then, and blocking your feelings is um, your way of keeping your balance. But on the other side of the high priestess, you're out of balance. It's not working. This communication is probably needed. And I think you've been blocking it. So I think you've been blocking dealing with some hurtful situation here. And I think you know it. You're up and down. You're like, well, should I? Shouldn't I? Should I? Should I? You know, you're on a roller coaster ride about this whole situation. Under the Queen of Pentacles is the Nine of Swords. You're also up in your head, especially in the quiet moments, you know, like in bed alone at night or just quiet times where your mind starts to wonder. These thoughts are thoughts of truth and clarity here. And so maybe that's why you're trying to block dealing with your feelings because it, it, it puts you back into this nine of swords state and you're trying to avoid being in that. I know it doesn't feel good. It doesn't feel good at all. But it's right under the Queen of Pentacles. And to me, this is your way of trying to stay grounded. Next to the Nine of Swords is the Four of Swords. This is all part of the, your healing process. And I think this is what the universe wants you to know. Is actually dealing with this and talking about it. And, um, you know, just not trying to block... Uh, this energy from coming into your mind, um, it, you're actually blocking yourself from healing. So you need to spend this time alone. It's quite a difference, okay? When you spend your time alone, uh, thinking about truth and thinking about clarity with all these swords, this four of swords is very spiritual. And so your best thing for you to do, and I think you know it because the high priestess is right in the middle, is to... Um, soul search. Do some soul searching. 
and um, get your answers that way in your quiet times. Just kind of try to find your answers within yourself when you're in these moments. Don't dwell on the pain. Think and think about the healing part of it and how to get past it and um, feel the healing. Okay, it's very spiritual. Those four of swords. It's right next to the six of cups, which is under the two of pentacles. So, you know, this is a soulmate energy. You might have known them since childhood. Um, <clears throat> but you have known whoever is involved in this reading from another life. So that's the connection. That's a soulmate connection. Um, I don't think whatever happened was... Um, like vicious or anything. I think it just, it hurts you, whatever it was. They do have feelings for you. These are cups, six cups. And all these cups have flowers in them. You know, um, it's very sweet. I need more cards for your reading answers. Um, wow. Okay. Up here in your highest energy is the Ten of Cups. Now, whoever this was, um, was someone uh, uh, that you were in union with, okay? Someone who loved you very much. This is ten cups of love, sunshine, rainbows, but this is an equal exchange of love. It's not one-sided with the ten of cups. And then right next to it is the three of swords, the broken heart. This is what you feel down here with this nine of swords, is a broken heart. Tears. I, I need to read on. Next to the Three of Swords is the Nine of Wands. This is coming to your wit's end, having enough of it. Um, standing upright, but just feeling like you've been drugged through the mud. It's like um, just worn out. Um, I feel like this sadness is wearing you out. I think it's wearing you down. And maybe it's going to wear you down far enough where you can heal, where you won't be blocking um, the healing that you need to go through, whatever it is. But it has to do with a soulmate where there was a lot of love. Under the Ten of Cups is the Five of Swords. This is you looking back at them. You're very confused. You're looking back at them. So they're not in your life right this minute for whatever reasons. You have... Three swords of truth and clarity. There's a couple left to pick up, but you're, you're, you are getting your truth and clarity. Thank goodness. you got the four of swords here and the five of swords here. Um, but you keep looking back at them. There might have been someone else that had come into the picture that wasn't uh, wanted because there's three swords here. There's two people walking away that you're looking back at, and you're holding three swords right here. So it kind of points to someone came into the picture that that uh, was uh, unexpected or not wanted in this relationship and, and it hurt you. It's right next to the Ace of Pentacles. The Ace of Pentacles now is security and stability. Now that's what you're looking at over here. You're trying to stay grounded by not dealing with it. <laughs> Gosh. And um, the Ace of Pentacles though, being between looking back and under this heartache, um, and, and it's also, I'm, I have to point out, is next to the Six of Pentacles, being breadcrumbed in the relationship. I don't think you're, I think you were breadcrumbed once somebody else came in. This relationship started to slip, this Ten of Cups, because somebody else entered the relationship somehow. And it threw your scales way off balance. You, you're still off balance over here. But this Ace of Pentacles being right in the middle, this is groundedness. This is security and stability. And it's right next to the Five of Swords. Are they coming back? Yes, they are coming back. I don't know how much more I can get out of this, but okay. I have the Magician under the Five of Swords. You're manifesting it. You have all the tools to make it work, and they do too. It's right next to the soulmate card. A big cup of love, the pentacle for groundedness, security, uh, a wand of fresh starts and new beginnings, and a sword of truth and clarity. Swords, 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 truth and clarity. 
And right next to the magician, which is actually pointing at the Page of Cups, they're coming back with an apology. Because they kind of um, stomped. I don't know if that's the right word. They took this love for granted, okay? This Page of Cups, it has a fish in it. So it could be a card for Pisces. Pisces might be in your chart someplace, might be around this reading someplace. They're coming back with an apology. And it's right under the Ace of Pentacles. You're manifesting them somehow to come back. It's because you can't get your mind off of them. And you're healing. Healing uh, releases energies out there. Um, it, it attracts people to you. When Once you're healed, more people come forward. So I'm not exactly sure what happened here. But I do think that there was someone else involved. But they're coming back with a cup of apology here. And I think they want to uh, return to this Ten of Cups and be grounded with you. Right next to the Page of Cups is the Four of Pentacles. And this is under the Six of Pentacles. You know, this is what they're apologizing about right here. It's, this is, is, is keeping you in a relationship where they were feeding you peanuts. They, they were feeding you breadcrumbs. They, they, they need to, they kept you in this relationship they fed you just enough to keep you hanging in there. And that's what they, they need to apologize about. And that's what they're, they're going to do. The magician's pointing right at the Page of Cups. They're going to apologize. I'm taking that one more card. The Knight of Wands. See, what they, they ran in and out of your life. They were, there was a third person. But they want to come back to you and apologize for keeping you, just feeding you peanuts, for treating you this way. They do have love for you. And they took it for granted. And this communication that I think you're blocking uh, involves this apology. They do want to talk to you. So Cancers, this was your reading. I don't see how it ends up. <laughs> Next week, but I do see that they want to offer an apology. And um, I think they want to become grounded again because they did have a lot of love for you. They may even want to offer uh, a stability. They may even want to offer a ring or something to you. They want to offer something to you to ground this relationship again. 